One of the sports that has been really hard hit by the ongoing pandemic has of course been Rugby League. Uh, specifically though, I wanted to focus today on Women's Rugby League because while the Men's Super League continues and, and hopefully uh, the season um, will be completed, hopefully we will have a grand final, but while the Men's is carrying on, the Women's, as uh, we know a couple of weeks ago, has been officially cancelled. There won't be a Women's Super League and the Women's Challenge Cup has been uh, essentially discontinued. Um, now, what I really wanted to do was to come here and, well, uh, if I don't mind me saying, just plug a couple of uh, articles that I think fans of Rugby League will find interesting. The first of which uh, was for the League Express, uh, and it's currently available on Total RL website. And it's an article with the current uh, women, England Women's uh, Rugby League head coach, Craig Richards. We had a, a quick chat on the phone and... He really gave it an interesting take on what's it like for for an England head coach for there not to be a season, uh, you know, just one year away from a World Cup, a home World Cup as well, a World Cup that's being billed as the biggest and best World Cup ever. Uh, and he really gives a, a, an interesting perspective because from his, from his from his side of things, he won't be able to uh, really see how, how players have, have got on. Uh, this season, he, he there won't be really much of a chance to see uh, if there's any new talent who are breaking through. The, the time is really ticking. We are less than uh, we're I think we're just around 400 days away uh, from the World Cup now. So it's a really tough spot to be in for the England manager, but one of, for the England head coach, sorry. Uh, but one of the, the key things I think uh, he said in that um, in that interview was this. He said, despite the disruption. Despite everything that has happened, he does not want this to become an excuse for failure in the World Cup, for not getting good results, for not putting together a good display. He is still determined uh, to put together um, a good campaign, a good performance, a good hit out in this World Cup. And another interesting thing was... Um, to do with, with preparation, of course. We know um, that there won't be a season now, but England training will continue, and he has confirmed that uh, hopefully there will be an origin, and uh, he's also indicated that there could be a potential friendly. He mentioned that France would be great, but even a, a Wales would be fantastic. Uh, but you can see the full interview on the Total RL website. It's really an interesting take from a, a very interesting uh, uh, a person in the, the women's game and in Rugby League in general. The second interview, however, is on the Love Rugby League website and it was done with the RFL's head of growth, uh, Tom Brindle, also giving his take on the season's cancellation and giving a few reasons as to why the decision was made so late, uh, because the decision was made in, in September. Um, also gave details why testing wouldn't have really solved any issues now the women's game comes under the community sort of part of, of rugby league uh, players don't get paid uh, england players do get paid for for representing england now which is which is great uh, they did anyway on the png tour and, and, and they will do in the world cup um png tour the world nines actually i think it was that they uh, they received the payment for and nevertheless he goes on to speak about why testing while it was not necessary, even if they could bring it in for the women's game, why it wouldn't actually solve all the issues. And he also goes on to say, uh, um, obviously, the disruption potentially causing uh, the campaign of getting 21,000 girls playing uh, by the year 2021, by the, sorry, by the Women's World Cup final in 2021. He does think that the RFL is still, still going to be able to manage to, to um, achieve that goal, but my word, it's going to be a hard, hard task. Uh, I think we all hope that the, for the good of the game that that target is reached. But it's certainly an interesting interview. And as I say, the second one is available on the Love Rugby League website. Well, thank you very much for, for joining me here. I hope you can uh, check out those both, uh, the, those both articles there. Both linked uh, in the description below. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.